Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to practice focus on a little bit your wrist and your shoulders and your upper body. So let's just start with on your mat. So we are going to have a wide child pose. So big toes together, knees touching your edge of your mat. Spread your 10 fingers and let's sit on your heels as exhale. And inhale, bring your hands forward. As exhale, press down your boots on the armpit to the mat. And let's stay three breaths here. Inhale, fingertips a little bit forward. As exhale, grounding down your hip on top of your heels, a little bit deeper. So let's soften your face and shoulders relax. Find your breath. So your internal movement, as inhale, fingers a little bit more forward. As exhale, sit a little bit deep on your heels. And gently walk your hands halfway close to your body, fingertips on your mat. As you exhale, let's walk your hands to the right side and bring your left hand top over your right and press down your left on the armpit. Try to not to disrupt your low body, just only your upper body is moving toward to the right side. And we are trying to focus outside of your left over your ribs and from fingertip all the way to your left side of your body. So inhale, as you exhale, can you try to a little bit more press down your left side of your under armpit and open up left side of your lung with your breath. One more inhale. As exhale, close to the mat. Let's walk your hands to halfway. As inhale, as exhale, walk your hands to the left side and bring your right hand top over your left and press down as you exhale, your right on the armpit. So keep breathe in and exhale as much as you can deeply through your nose. So your right side of your body, your right side of your intercostal muscle is stretching as you exhale close to the floor. As well as your breathing is engaged, your right side of your lung. Okay, let's bring your hands to the center. So bring back to all body to all four here. So your knees underneath your hips, spread your 10 finger. And now you're starting flat back. Inhale, as you exhale, sit on your heels, spread your both fingers open and on the armpit is open up. Inhale, crown of head forward. As you exhale, sit on your heels. Three more just like this. Inhale, forward. Exhale, sit on your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Try to straight line over your back as much as you can. This is last one. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, we're going to move to cat cow pose here. Chest forward, dropping down middle part of the spine. Exhale, curl your spine. Tuck in your tailbone between your hips. Inhale. Exhale, open up back of your spine. Press down your both palm of your hands to the mat. Three more just like this. Inhale, fan open your front of your chest. Exhale. This is last one. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale. So let's gently bring your, rearrange if you need, bring your right foot forward between your hands. Fingertips on your mat, 
chest slightly forward, the shoulders away from your ears. And now bring your left foot, lower legs, to the right side and walk your hands to the left side. Extend over your right leg to the right side. The toes pointing to the right side, like kind of ballerina feet, foot. Arms to open up, shoulder height, palms facing down. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand top over your right side, the left hand to head direction. So inhale. As you exhale, can you turn your head to the left on the armpit? Stay two breaths here. Inhale. As you exhale, can you bring a little bit of your right hand close to your right ankle? And then coming back to center, inhale. As you exhale, let heavy your left arm underneath your left shoulder. Offer your right leg up to hip height, palms facing down, flexing your right ankle. As you exhale, let heavy your right leg, arms to head direction, turn your head to the right side. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, side stretch. One more just like this. Inhale, and exhale. Let's bring back to center, returning your arms to front of your mat. Coming back to all four here. As inhale, bring your left foot between your hands, fingertips on your mat. Inhale. And exhale, bring your right foot to the left side. Walk your hands to the right side and bring your left foot to left side and extend your legs, whole legs straight and toes pointing to the left side. Arms open to shoulder height. Inhale. As exhale, lean on to the left side, hands on top of your left side, over your left foot, right hand to your head direction. You may bring your right upper arm slightly behind of your ear if you can. Turn your head to the right side, stay two breaths here. release your arms to shoulder height. Inhale. As exhale, bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Lift your left leg, palms face forward. As inhale, side stretch. Exhale. Inhale. As exhale, half moon here. Inhale, three more just like this. Exhale, lift the leg a little bit up, dorsiflexion of your left ankle. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is last one. Inhale. And exhale, let's returning to front of your mat. So come to all four here. Spread your ten fingers, really grounding down your both palms of your hands to the mat. Let's tuck the toe under, off your knees gently from your mat and downward facing dog. So let's walk in a little bit. So spread your ten fingers as well as a little bit of bend each knees, open up back of your spine as well as back of your both legs. So now inhale, bring forward your whole body to plank. As exhale, knees on your mat, bring your hip close to your heels. Inhale, off your knees from ground and gently bring your tailbone to the sky and extend your back of your legs in downward facing dog. Next, inhale, plank. Exhale, knees on your mat, hip close to your heels. As exhale, coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, stay. Next, inhale, plank. Exhale. 
of your knees from ground. We're gonna do two more just like this if you like. Otherwise, we're gonna come forward plank and knees bent, but not to touch to the floor. And then bring your hip close to your heel. So gently unravel from your hip crease to downward facing dog. One more just like this, inhale, exhale. So a lot of weight bearing of your boss risk. So any reason if you feel too much, just to come to child pose or give a little bit of, uh, make a circle of your wrist. So gently walk your feet. So we're gonna walk front of your mat. So come on to standing forward bend here. Inhale, half a forward bend. Exhale. So inhale, one more just like this as exhale. So gently walk your hands forward, bend your right knee, bring your left foot to the sky, rotation. And returning to your left finger on your mat, bend your left knee, bring your right hands to the sky and then returning to the floor. So standing here, standing forward bend gently and then bend your knee a little bit more, bring your both hands to the sky, sorry, to the front of your body and then gently to the sky if you can. Chair pose here, strong point, strong pose. So bend a little bit more your knee, bring your weight a little bit backward and release and bring your hands in front of your chest. Release your hands beside of your body. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Interrupt your fingertop of your head. Palms face away. So gently can you open front of your upper spine. And release your hands, make a big circle. Move back to back of your body. Interrupt your finger again. So bring your hands head direction, a little bit lean forward. Let heavy your head, a little bit of bend your knees. Stay two breaths here. Release your hands beside of your foot. Inhale, exhale, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, step right foot back. Fingertips on your mat in a high lunge here. Stay just one more breath here. As exhale, next inhale, both hands off from your mat and make a big circle each side and reach your fingertip to the sky. Palms facing each other. Balancing warrior here. Inhale, little bit upper chest up, showing your chest to the sky, reach your fingertips, activate your fingertips. Let's bend your both elbow and let's bring your hands front of your mat. Step left foot back to downward facing dog. Stay one more inhale. As exhale, plank. Inhale, let heavy your knees. And gently bring your hip close to your heel. Bring your forearm forward, right hand. Left hand forward. So then off your knees from ground. Stay here, forearm plank, two breaths here. Release your knees on your mat and then gently let heavy your front of your body come to Sphinx here. Spread your 10 fingers. So bring forward, so slowly bring forward your chest as well as up. So shoulders away from your ears. So your internal movement of your sternum. Release, and then gently hands outside of your mat, elbows pointing up. Inhale, wide arm cobra. Exhale, chest on your mat. Inhale, little bit up. Exhale, chest to the mat. One more, just like this. Inhale, exhale. Returning your hands underneath your shoulder, tuck the toe under, come back halfway, and then gently forearm is on your mat, 
So we're gonna prepare the dolphin pose here. Spread your 10 fingers off your knees from ground and you may stay there or little walk your ball of your foot, feet, foot forward facing, your face is facing to the mat. But your crown of head is not to touch to the mat. So tailbone is pointing up, press down your both forearm to the mat. Two more breaths here. And release. So gently prepare your come up to downward facing dog. So let's walk a little bit. Now inhale, bring your right leg to the sky, three leg dog. Step right foot forward between your hands, fingertips on your mat. We're gonna prepare to the warrior number two. Cut with your arms to the shoulder height. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand resting top over your right thigh, left hand to head direction. Option two, you can bring your hands front of your right. And release, coming back to warrior number two. Bring back to your both hands front of your mat. Step left foot forward. Fold here, exhale, inhale, half a fold bend. As exhale, fold again, bend your knee, bring your hands to the sky, inhale. Interrupt your finger the other direction now, palms face up. Exhale, bring your hands behind over your back. Again, interrupt your fingers, bend your knees, let heavy your upper body, open up the front of your chest. Release your hands beside of your foot, feet, inhale, half fold bend, exhale, Uttanasana. Bend your knee, step left foot back, fingertips on your mat here. Both hands to make a big circle to the side and reach your fingertip to the sky. Press back to your back of your left leg, left knee. Bend your elbow, cactus arm here in. As exhale, hands on your mat, step right foot back to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees on your mat, bring hip close to your hip. Left side forearm forward, right forearm on your mat. And then off your knees from ground, forearm plank here. One more inhale. And exhale, let heavy your knees, release, curl your spine, coming to sphinx here. Press down tops of your, your groin to the mat. And release. Let's bring your hands behind over your back, interrupt your fingers again. Here, inhale, lift your upper body up. Lift your leg if you like to. So lift a little bit upper body up, leg is up. Little bit up. And then release. So bring your hands underneath the forehead gently, rest a couple of breaths here. And now bend your both knees. Bring your hands holding your, your ankle or you can bring your middle part of your feet. So inhale, lift your leg up, chest come up. So as much as you kick your leg, your upper chest come up as well. So keep breathing, find your breath, stay here. Inhale, kick a little bit more. Release. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's come into child pose for a couple of breaths. Let's come up. So gently tuck the toe under, bring your hip close and downward facing dog. So walking dog again here. 
Bring your left leg to the sky, three leg dog. Bend your left knee and step forward between your hands. Fingertips on your mat, chest forward. So prepare your right heel down, cartwheel your both arm to warrior number two. Inhale, stay. As exhale, can you a little bit deeper? Bend a little bit more. Left forearm is resting top of your left thigh. Bring your right hand to head direction. Or bring your left hand to front of your left leg. Stay two more breaths here. And release, warrior number two. So wheel your hands front of your mat. Step right foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, fold here, bend your knees, sweep arm job. And then release your hands front of your chest. So we're gonna go in lying down. So before lying down, let's come on the sit on your mat. So flexing your ankles, resting your hands beside of your body, chest slightly forward, heavy tops over your shoulders. Inhale, arms up to the sky. As exhale, seated forward bend here. Press down your back of your kneecaps. Chest slightly forward, come up. And release. Let's bring your right foot cross over your left, resting your left hand to the side and right hand holding your inner arch over your right. So what we're gonna do, just pull your with your right hand with your sole over your right foot and then your right foot is just away, away from your, your body. So it's a kind of a against action with your hand and your right foot. So you might notice some sensation happening your right side of your shoulders, scapula between your center of your spine. That muscle is a gentle stretching here. So you can control how strong you want and then you can pull a little bit more or maybe you can reduce. Two more breaths here. Release. Coming back to Danda Asana, bring your left foot tops over your left, left hand holding your inner arch over your left, the right hand resting beside of your body. So let's do that in a pull your left hands and the left foot is away. So really against your sort of your left foot with your left hand and then engage the between your left scapula and the center of your spine, the muscle area is really stretchy. Keep breathing in and exhale. You might have as exhale, have a little bit more open. Little try to challenge, push a little bit away. One more inhale, exhale. Let's coming back to the center. So if you have the strap or you have a belt, anything might be useful. So holding this strap behind of your back. So I'm gonna show you to standing. So bring holding hands in this way, okay? You may standing, you can do that, but we can sit here today, inhale, Lift your arms up, exhale, bring back to the floor. Inhale, come up, a little bit up. Exhale, to the mat. Two more just like this. As inhale, can you bring a little bit higher? Lengthen your spine, exhale, down. Inhale, reach slightly up and exhale. Let's bring your strap front of your body now. You're holding your little bit wider this time. Inhale, bring your hands tops of your head. Exhale, you might a little bit more wider and then back of your back. Inhale, tops of your head. Exhale, bring forward. 
So let's do three each side in. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So do your own breaths. With your breath. This is the last one, everyone. So inhale, come up. Exhale, back of your back. Inhale and exhale. So let's move your strap. This is a great practice any time of the, your day. If you, every day, daily you practice with the strap, simply spend three, five minutes. That would be really great, crucial for practicing your shoulder joint, finding your mobility of your shoulders. So let's lie down on your mat. So bend your knee, bring your hands forward, exhale, let's lie down on your mat. Come to constructive rest here. So walk your feet a little bit close to your he hips, knees pointing to the sky. Inhale, palms face up, shoulders grounding down on your mat. As exhale, bring your palms on your mat at the same time and lift your belly and the chest come up. Press down back of your shoulders. As exhale, coming back to the center, inhale. Exhale. So now we're gonna do two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale, rise your front of your pelvis and chest come up. Press down tops of your shoulder and hand. Inhale. And exhale. So let's interlock your fingers, walk your shoulders close, lift your belly slightly, be more up, your chin close your chest. Can you open your actually upper spine a little bit higher if you can, as well as your uh, inner thigh is uh, squeezed and as well as your hips. So really maximize the space of your front of your spine, chest, front of your thigh. Press down your, interrupt your hands to the mat and helping to a little bit of open up the space. Little bit of soften your face. Find your breath. Two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, little bit lift up. Squeeze your inner thigh. Imagine have a block between your inner thighs. Squeeze the block, that may help. And release your arms and let heavy your back of your spine and the pelvis. Invite your knee to the chest. Let's hug your knees. And looking side to side of your movement, gentle massage of your back of the spine. So release your leg, wide leg, open and palms facing down to shoulder height. Inhale, knees to the right and head to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. As exhale, lean to the left, head to the right. So inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, lean to the each side, head is opposite direction. Two more just like that. In. Exhale, synchronize your breathing as well as your knee and your head movement here. And this is last in and exhale, returning to the center. Let's give a little big hug again. And then looking side to side. So gently heavy your legs on your mat, arms beside of your body. Notice how you're feeling and then let heavy release any tension on your mat. 
So just invite your whole body to rest on your mat. So as exhale, imagine your heavy body is sinking to the mat. As next exhale, release any tension goes away with your out breath. So gently invite your whole body rest in this moment. Let's just stay next to three, four minutes resting here. Stay as much as you want. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste everyone. See you next time.